All right, this is going to be a quick video just to show how to use this little uh, Fusion 360 add-in I made for um, connecting directly to Octoprint and printing. So you can download it here from my GitHub page, and there's some instructions on the page on how to install add-ins and scripts. You just got to make sure you put the add-in in this directory. Um, and then uh, to really use it, you want to have already, you know, set up Octoprint, set up a Cura slicer, and all of those things. Um, when you go into your settings, there's a couple of things you want to have. Make sure that you have set up a printer profile, and then you will have also wanted to have set up uh, the Cura engine with uh, your profiles in there as well. And um, these slicer profiles basically. Uh, will be pulled in and you'll pick which slicer profile you want to use when you go to um, actually upload it. The other thing that you're going to need is your API key. So to use this add-in requires you to have an API key. So you want to check enable and then you need to record this key. So pull this out, copy it, and uh, be ready to use this in a second. So once you've installed the plugin, um, the other thing to really use it is uh, you will have, have to have already connected to your printer. So your printer's on and then connected uh, from the web interface. And then when we go into Fusion, um, here in Add-ins, you should see it now is running. Uh, so I've got OctoFusion running. And once you do that, it'll create an icon here in the Make menu. So I'm going to go here and say Print with Octoprint. And you can set the refinement you want for the STL file that's getting created in the background. Pick what you want to export. So I've got this uh, um, little model here. And now you need to just put in your, your host information. So in this case, it's for me, it's RASP. dot local is my address of my of the Pi running uh, Octoprint here, and then my key. And then the first time you do this, you'll see there's nothing in printer profiles. So there's this button here. It says refresh profiles. If you click that, it'll go and uh, look at your server basically and just pull in the available printer profiles and slicing profiles. So now I can pick. I want to do this on my printer bot and let's do it with uh, I have two cure slicing profiles basically one with and without using the heated bed so we just go ahead and turn on the heated bed um, it's another little feature I put in here if you want if you just click this button right here uh, if you need to for whatever reason home the machine you can just press that button and it'll just connect you can hear the sound of the stepper motors in the background uh, so we've homed the X Y and Z axis sometimes it's nice to just do that um, in advance and then a uh, selection here to say whether you want to start printing immediately. So if you want to start printing right away, it'll just upload it, slice it, and then start printing, which is pretty cool. And then um, the other thing that's really nice here is just the ability to save your settings. So you really only have to do this once. Um, and then the next time you come in here, all this information will be remembered. So now I'll just go ahead and hit OK. And it's going to export. Basically, in the background, what it's doing is it's exporting an STL file. Um, it's going to always home the axes if you say to print. I just have it uh, do a homing cycle as well. Uh, so it's going to export the STL, upload it to Octoprint, use Octoprint slicing, uh, Cura to slice it on the Pi, and then it'll automatically shoot you back over here to the interface. And uh, you'll see that it's starting to uh, print. So just turned on the bed, and then we'll be now sitting waiting for it to heat up, and then it'll go ahead and start printing. So uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if this is useful and uh, what I can do to make it better. Thanks.